Hello, in today's video we're going to be looking at an awesome new way to fix one of these Philip Hue tap switches onto our wall. So let's get on with it. Roll titles! <laughs> Welcome to the channel if it's your first time here and welcome back if it's not. Now regular viewers will know that I'm a massive fan of the Hue ecosystem. I've got a whole load of videos about it and a brilliant beginner's guide as well and they're all in the playlist which is linked up in the corner. Now something that I've acquired fairly recently is this Hue tap dial switch and I've done a video on it as well. I'll stick a link to it up there. And the video has been very popular which I'm really pleased about. But a question that I've been asked several times in that video is, how do you mount these onto the wall? Well, it's quite easy. You've got these little sticky pads here, or you can screw it onto the wall as well. But the problem is quite often when you're using something like this, you want it to replace your light switch. Because if you have a traditional light switch on your wall, then you can just turn off all the lights and then all the smart functionality is lost. What you really need to do is replace your traditional light switch with this. But there's no real easy way of doing that until now. So uh, I was looking on Amazon, like I do quite often, and I found these. Now this is from a company called Samotech, and basically they manufacture products that allow you to put Philips Hue switches on your wall in replacement of your existing light switches. Again, I've done a video on how you can do that um, with one of the Philips Hue clicky remote switches, which I'll put a link to up here. But because the tap dial switch is relatively new, there wasn't any way of doing it. But Samotech have come up with this brilliant solution that I'm going to show you in this video, and uh, we'll see what it's all about. Now it comes in two parts, which is quite interesting. The first part is this frame adapter, and this is called the SM223UK because it's for UK switches. And this sits on top of your existing light switch and you screw it in using the existing light switch holes. Now you don't actually have to take your light switch off the wall, you just unscrew it, pull the screws out, and replace them with slightly longer screws. But don't worry, I'm gonna show you the whole installation process in just a mo, so stick around. And then they come with a range of different adapters. And this one is for the Philips Hue tap dial switch. You can actually get a different adapter for the Philips Hue smart button, the IKEA trad free remote switches, and also the Samsung smart things buttons. So this frame will work for a whole host of different smart home automation buttons. But yeah, in this video, we're just going to be looking at the Hue tap dial switch mount for it. So yeah, you buy this, which is $5.99, and the adapter that I've purchased is $4.99. So for just over a tenner, you can replace your light switch with something a little bit smarter. So let's just have a little look inside the boxes and uh, see what we've got. Actually, before I get into the boxes, can you just do me a massive favor and give this video a quick like now? It will really help the channel grow and push this video out to other people who are interested in Philips Hue products. Right, let's get it out of the box. We've got this guy here, which is the adapter plate, and we've got some slightly longer screws so it will pass through this plate, through your light switch, and into your back box. And then all we've got here is the adapter plate for our Hue tap dial switch. So the original tap dial switch is held into its mounting with a magnet, and this seems to be a sort of cross between a slight pressure fit and a magnet. But look at that, that's so cool. And then, yeah, the plate just clips in. I like that, that's smart. I'm also trying to be very careful of pressing the buttons on here because they control the lights in this room. Okay. So obviously you want to get it the right way around and there's the Samotech writing on the bottom corner here. It's very, very faint. But yeah, that is obviously the bottom. Well, I'll tell you what we'll do. I'll move the camera over into the corner of the room and we can just have a go at replacing the light switch and see how easy it is. 
should be pretty straightforward. So uh, let's go over there. So we're just gonna start by taking the screws off the light switch. And what I'm actually going to do is just place them in the back box so I've got them in future should anything change. Obviously, you don't have to do that, but you know, it's up to you. Grab these long replacement screws. So in all honesty, you don't really need to be an electrician to do this. Probably a good idea to turn the power off, but you know, I like to live a life on the edge. Lovely. That looks really good. So as I said, you can still access the switch by popping off the adapter plate. It's not completely inaccessible. To make sure the little dink goes at the top. Actually, just gonna use a plastic pry tool just to, there we go. Love it. Look at that, delicious. There we go, look at that. I like that, that is smart. What a great solution. Well, let's go back to the desk and finish up. Wow, what an awesome product. I really like that. That's they look so good on the wall. I think because the tap dial switches are that much smaller, the face plates can be just about the same size as an existing face plate. So it doesn't look too big and cumbersome and stick out too far. And because there's been no acceptable way really of replacing existing light switches with them, I've sort of held off from buying any more and having them around the home because there's just not been a nice way of having them on the wall and losing the existing light switches. But I think we've got it guys. I like that. I'm really, really pleased with that product. So there you go, a very quick little video. I do hope it's been helpful for you. If it has, please do let me know in the comments below. But uh, yeah, I think that's it. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, but for now it's game over.